Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into the differences between Tool Tools in Procreate, Clipping Masks and Alpha Lock. They're both layer settings and it's easy to be confused about which one to use because they have similar effects. The goal of this video is to break down the differences and advantages of each one so you can decide how and when to use either one in your personal workflow. First up, let's talk about clipping masks. Imagine you have a layer with just basic shapes of your drawing. You want to add details like extra colors or effects, but you only want them to appear within the boundaries of that layer. This would be the perfect time for for a clipping mask. First, create a new layer. We'll simply tap on the layer and we'll be presented with a lot of different options. And by selecting clipping mask, any strokes or changes we make on this layer will only show up where there's content on the layer below. So watch how my brush only affects the pixels on the layer underneath, no matter where my brush is on the canvas. It's like putting a stencil over your artwork and painting only within the stencil's edges. Another advantage is that we can erase what we're doing on the clipping mask without affecting the layer below. We can hide it by turning it on or off with the checkbox. Now on to Alpha Lock. This tool is equally handy but works a bit differently. Again, just tap on the layer and you're presented with that same menu of options. But this time we're going to click Alpha Lock. Notice the thumbnail of the layer has a checkerboard background now. We've essentially just locked the transparency of the layer, but what does that mean? It means that like a clipping mask, your brush strokes will only show up where there's already content on that layer. But unlike a clipping mask, you are affecting the layer and what you do cannot be erased unless you want to erase everything on the layer altogether. This is the most important difference between clipping masks and alpha lock. So in summary, if you want your changes to interact with the layers underneath but remain separated, go for a clipping mask. But if you simply want to stay within the lines of a specific layer, choose alpha lock. And there you have it. Clipping masks and alpha lock might seem a bit confusing at first, but with a bit of practice, it'll become easier and more natural to know which one you want to use. So thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you next time.